We're gonna be watching The Failure of the Fire Festival by Internet Historian. Hi there. You're probably wondering how I got this tan. Well, let me tell you the story. It begins with a man by the name of Billy McFarland. Billy was a good boy. At 22, he had dreams of becoming a super wealthy entrepreneur, dropping out of college to start a business called Magnesis. Oh Over God, he he's a scam artist, I bet. Some powerful people. One of them was Ja Rule. Translated from German, I believe it means, <gasps> yes, Rule. Over drinks, he pitched an idea. Here's an accurate recreation of that event. Mr. Rule, he said, I have a brilliant idea. Like, word, like, yo, what happened? Ooh, I'm like, yo, this thing too wild, fucking bitch. Ooh. What did he say? Precisely, great minds think alike. It will be two weeks of absolute luxury in the Bahamas. I. Mr. Rule. Promotion began in late 2000. Yeah, his intros are so good. Fire promised beaches, ladies. Gourmet food, luxury villas, hosted on a private island in the Bahamas called Fire K, once owned by Pablo Escobar. VIP tickets up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Excuse me. Swimming pigs, Blink One Eighty Two, Major Laser, a steel drum. Welcome to. Fire Why do people have so much money to blow on this stuff? Two damn weeks of your life. I could use that money I way more efficiently. Immediately. The day arrives. About 5,000 people are making their way directly from Miami airport, and there are huge delays to get to Fire K. Although I shouldn't say Fire K. Oh. Because it doesn't exist. In the marketing, they were watching Internet Island, Historian Lux. Exactly Norman's K, run by George Young. We'll be getting to gaming by, after this. But that doesn't matter because we're not going there either. We're going to Great Exuma. Private island? Forget that. Population? 7,000. Does that in constitute fact, false marketing? In, lot of a sandals resort. in the end, only about 500 of us make it to the island. The remaining customers' flights are cancelled. You're about to see why. We hauled onto a school bus and taken to the site. A gravel lot with a bunch of FEMA tents. Oh my god. Oh no. It literally Those looks like a hurricane happened. Villas, prank you. Enjoy your stay. And don't forget your complimentary cup of UNICEF rice. <laughs> Once there, no one knows whose tent belongs to whom, so staff try getting everyone into a line. Then they abandon that idea and tell everyone it's a free for all. Expecting a party, that guy's on drugs. His drugs on the flight over. He's the only one having any fun. Well, I mean, let's party, man. Let's party. Everyone else is grumpy because it's been five hours and there's no food. In lieu of food, staff decide to start handing out tons of free tequila. This only exists. That feels like that would be a bad idea. Once the food does arrive, it's just as delectable as promised, though. Gourmet craft single there. Oh. A few hours later, I'm not a big fan of cheese. I'm gonna continue. be honest. It was getting dark and there was no lighting. So everybody's walking around with their cell phones, trying to look for their their luggage. Oh. Plenty of people had their luggage stolen. But don't worry, if you have any valuables, the festival advertised top-notch security. Here it is. But no one told guests they had to provide their own. This looks lot. like the Hunger Games. There are rumors of muggings by the locals. I heard rumors of feral dogs. A tent supposedly caught fire. The closest beach has a rampant shark problem. Staff don't have any uniforms or walkie-talkies, so no one knows who's. So in we're charge, gonna have impersonators, huh? Who are in charge can't talk to each other. Here's the bathroom. Many staff quit after only a couple of hours. For the few customers who are willing to just make the most of it and enjoy the music, they had some bad news too. All of the major musical acts pulled out. Hey, mommy fact, boy, welcome, Major welcome. Laser wasn't even confirmed to go in the first place. The event was promoted God. as cashless, so all people had were these useless Disney bucks on their fire <laughs> We live in a cashless they society. Find or catch a cab if they were stranded. And even with only 500 people, there are too few tents and beds, so everyone. Like, I get that this isn't the typical experience for a festival. But I have never had any joy in going to any sort of festival. And this just exasper exasperates this feeling. What is this? This is the fire, the failure of fire festival by Internet Historian. One is just stealing each other's. And for any of you thinking... Yeah, it's like a post-apocalyptic world out there. Luck. It's peak season and they are absolutely full. People are reaching out to the embassy for <laughs> After a few hours, most people chose to go back to the airport, and the rest were forced back home when the Bahaman government stepped in. The festival was closed. Uh. 
Pools close. But the exodus from the island made its own problems. It seems like it this caught fire. Oh yeah. This dehydrated and hung over in a hot building. Why but staff I'm... locked the door isn't entirely known. Wait, they locked them but in? The fainted before they were finally reopened. What the fuck? What's the point of that? Everyone gets home and that was the end of it. Except for, uh, me. I was, um, uh, rescuing someone, helping them out, and, uh, I got lost in the woods. <laughs> anyway, back at home, the shitstorm on social media was just ramping up. The Reddit R Fire Festival was created, and it started documenting everything that went Wait, isn't this the, the festival where the guy People said he was ready to suck someone's dick? Jar, that the whole thing was a social experiment. Some wholesome festival memes, though. <clears throat> and it quickly turned into a marketing case study of what not to do. In response, Fire started serving cease and desist letters to stop That's people not gonna saying do shit. things about them. You can't stop Mr. things from spreading on the internet. Statement online, both apologizing and saying that it's not his fault. Interestingly, he wasn't even on the island at the time. He was giving a concert in Chicago. Yeah, didn't a lot of celebrities Although, do that? Like Kylie credit, Jenner? They offer everyone a full refund. Or you could always let it ride and opt in for tickets to 2018. Oh, hell Fire yeah. Festival. I'd let it ride. Dude, yeah, I go to next year's. It's, it's only on the way up from there. It can't get worse. is on full damage control. He claims that a storm came in the night before and changed all of the marketing into lies. We got to a point that we were I feel like that's easily verifiable. With how the two sites looked. So I feel like that's a lie. And we got hit by a big storm. But the apologies weren't enough. A few days later, and the first lawsuit was served. Attorney Ben Mycelis doesn't think it's funny. He's filed a $100 it's pretty funny. million dollar class action lawsuit against the organizers. Then another suit. Then seven more. Then the feds got involved, claiming Billy had committed wire fraud. Serious charges with serious prison time. More on that later. But first. Right now, let's go into the history of Fire Festival. The marketing was clever. To get the word out, they got in touch with about 400 influencers. I hate influencers. that word. And they I fucking the hate the word influencer. Promote the event. They even managed to get Kendall Jenner to post about it. Rumor has it she was paid <gasps> the Pepsi commercial. a million dollars for this post. The marketing worked though. The festival so See, this is why I want to make it big, chat. This is totally why I want to make it big. I want people to give me money to make a post. And then not go to the thing I'm posting about. I want to fucking just sell out, chat. Come on. This is, this, is this not what people want to do? <laughs> what is a dumb meme reference, you would say? Uh, pretty much anything can be a dumb meme reference, Yeet. Uh, let me think on that. Sold out. So how did it go so wrong? Let's start with the money. During the planning process, a consultant came in and said the festival would cost $50 million Holy shit. and require another year of organization. They should have, they should have planned two whole years out. Why is that guy censored? after they made all the promises. And they had nothing near that amount. So they started cutting expenses. I don't know how you're going to cut expensive enough Remember to cover those luxury 50 million. Bills? They were going to cost $10 million alone. So they scrapped them. Now everyone gets a tent. Deposits for the bands? Nope. Food, infrastructure, staff, all were cut back. After that, but what's left? You may ask, how did they have so little cash if they sold out? It's the price. It was way too low. Now, wait a minute. Up to $250,000 a ticket is too low. Uh, let me guess, fact, that's the highest? Media, people were so merciless and unsympathetic towards I'm the guests because they thought it was a bunch of rich kids paying for tickets with a starting price of $12,000. Uh, they and probably wasn't the starting price, I guess. Assumption. You see that number repeated everywhere. But actually, very few were paying even close to that amount. Called the it. standard price was around $1,200. Still, Jesus. Which, if you think about two weeks in the Bahamas with practically all of your expenses taken care mm, of, fair. That's pretty bloody good. In fact, some tickets were as low as five hundred dollars. Okay, I'd buy that. If I believed it, which I would. About five hundred bucks, and this covered food, transportation, ticket, and somewhere to sleep. How on earth were they going to break even with that? They weren't. And on the flip side, there's no proof whatsoever that anyone purchased a two hundred and fifty. Oh come on, somebody ticket. had to. So basically, they're stuffed. Billy has to start taking tough short-term loans just to keep afloat. Which, by the way, is why they did the fire bans. It was to raise cash. 
It's reported that up to $2 million in Firebucks in-game currency was spent in the lead-up to the event. In-game currency this wasn't IRL. close to enough. Practically broke and with the event only a few weeks away, the more experienced staff suggested postponing. He's got but loans. Thanks to those short-term loans, he couldn't. Yep. So he insisted on going forward. Those staff tried to control the damage by telling celebrities and public figures not to go. How was the fire festival? <laughs> I love how they just laugh with her. So she didn't Billy tell anybody. In some serious trouble, but she didn't warn let's anybody. Have one failed festival that has a sequel. Well, Billy is out on three hundred thousand dollars bail. His assets were frozen as at May eighteenth. He dropped his expensive attorneys. He's selling his property in New York. He tried to sell Magnesis for hundred. That's a seven point five million dollars. For being fraudulent, massively in debt, and with no hope of paying it back. Fire went into involuntary bankruptcy. Good. And that is the end of Fire Festival. I'll keep you posted about whether Billy is going to jail. So long, Fire Festival. You were too beautiful for this world. And as for me. This is well, why you do not try to start on. something that you have no experience with. It go like big. You start small and you work your way up. You got to improve over time. Okay? You can't just go big and go home. No, you got to start small. And see, he tried to build a raft for the first time and he's dead. God. Jeez. In March of 2000. Oh my God. Okay, that was a fun watch. What did people think of Fire Festival? There's going to be a quiz at the end of stream. No, there's not. No, there's not. No, there's not. All right, let me go back to just chatting real quick.